how to retalk your rear wheel axle nut and your Harley Davidson M8 soft tail, especially if you haven't got a torque wrench. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. So this is a very quick service video and it's about uh, retorquing your axle nut on your Harley Davidson M8 soft air on the rear tire here on the rear wheel. Uh, let's say you're going down the road or something and you've had to take the wheel off, whatever. You've um, wanted to check the alignment, whatever it is. Maybe you don't have a torque wrench. So what you could have is just a large uh, adjustable spanner, which you have in your uh, tool bag, let's say, that is uh, big enough for that uh, axle nut. And that is uh, a 36 mil axle nut on the right hand side. But you also may want to have something for this side uh, just to uh, just to hold it in place if you've really loosened it up. And then that is a 28 mil on this side, I believe. Anyway, that is just to tighten it or loosen it up. You could have the 36 mil socket, of course, but that would mean that you would have to take the uh, exhaust off in most cases uh, on the M8 Softails. Now, obviously, we're talking about doing this on the side of the road or in your workshop, or maybe you haven't got the socket, okay? So you can get one of these, which is basically a rear wheel axle nut adapter. And now Harley Davidson have got one of these and the part number is HD47925. Basically, this is perfect for field servicing, as it were, or doing it on the side of the road, or basically if you just don't want to take off your exhaust to do it. Uh, and also you can attach a torque wrench to this uh, to retorque it properly. So uh, this is from Amazonia, as I say, it's a 36 mil. However, all I needed to do was file down some of the paint on the inside uh, to make it fit properly. Anyway, uh, it's a great bit of kit, it fits in your tool bag and it's perfect. Okay, let's talk about using this properly with a torque wrench and then I'll show you about using this without a torque wrench, okay. Okay, so your rear wheel axle nut torque setting is 128.8 to 142.4 Newton meters, or it's 95 to 105 foot pounds of torque. Okay, so you use this torque adapter. It really depends whether you would need it in the first place if you've still got the uh, the standard exhaust on there or whether you've got an aftermarket exhaust, let's say some shorties or something, and then it doesn't really make much difference. Okay, so what you need to do, just place it over the axle nut here as you can see then you get your torque wrench and you set it to whatever setting you feel is comfortable i've set mine to uh, the lower end 130 newton meters right so all i need to do then attach it and then i just torque up so i know that is torqued to 130 newton meters right so how do i undo the nut well basically you just use your torque wrench flip it round pop it in the hole and then you just lever it the other way and it's perfect it just turns the axle nut and it loosens it off so if you're just loosening it off you just want to make a wheel alignment uh, adjustment this is a perfect tool goes in your tool bag really good okay let's say that you haven't got a tool crunch with you well what you could do is this use your torque adapter maybe get a pry bar on there as well or some kind of piping and just lever it off and then lever it back on as well but how do you know what the torque setting is okay so this is where a bit of pre-planning comes in right there are a couple of ways of doing this so basically you can get a black marker an indelible ink type thing or a permanent marker or you can get an engineering paste let's say or marker paint and you might have seen this uh, on bolts on your bike or in other engineering applications and usually they are markers for a uh, nut or bolt creep or something that's loosened and it's basically a specification so it's torqued to a specification you put a mark on the bolt across the thread let's say uh, and on the frame as well so you know that it should always be aligned on that mark if it isn't then you know that it's moved okay when you come to retorque it then you apply another mark or another bit of marker paint or something like that okay what i do is this before I set off, I get some black marker and I mark my frame and also my axle nut. 
Now, of course, a black marker on a black frame isn't ideal. So that's why marker paint or specific marker paint, which you can get, I'll put a link in the description below for you as well, where you can get it, but you can get it anywhere, uh, is ideal. So if you're in the field, let's say on the side of the road, and you're going to do this, basically you just need to undo your uh, axle nut whichever way you can or you're just carrying a big adjustable spanner whichever works for you you loosen it off do whatever you need to do to your bike to your rear wheel or to your belt tension and then all you need to do is just turn this back up so that the the uh, lines meet up however this is just a field fix i would certainly suggest that when you get to a place that has a torque wrench then you make sure that it's retorqued properly. So if you're concerned about torque settings for your axle nut, your rear axle nut, just mark it, mark the nut, mark the frame, so you've got a point of reference. Then you can undo it and then redo it or turn it back or tighten it back up to so the lines uh, line up as it were. That's it. So that's how you use this rear wheel uh, axle nut adapter. Uh, you can get one from Harley Davidson, quite expensive of course, but you can get one from here. Amazonia works perfectly well. You can use it in conjunction with a proper uh, torque wrench so that you don't have to take off your exhaust, uh, whichever it is, or you can basically just use a big old adjustable spanner. Uh, do you know in Italy, they actually call this an English spanner, would you believe? There we go. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, and check out the website, revelatealf.com, and I'll catch you again. Bye now.